द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ट्रयांगल basic idea of this chapter is we want to know that if the three sides and three angles are equal can we say that the triangles are congruent or not congruent means they should have they should possess the same sides in proportion or equal they should propose they should have the same angles or not therefore studying these concepts in this chapter is one of the essential feature the practical application of this one is generally industrial application is going to look like this i have a triangular park i want to construct a wall with so and so angle at some vertex first i have to design a model with a small sides that implies with the small lengths only i will design a model i want to see that the biggest triangle in proportion to this with the same angles i am going to construct it. therefore that is the basic nature of this in this the first point we have to understand a triangle generally we have three types of triangles are there triangle means which we have the three sides and three angles generally the triangle can be constructed in this way suppose if i take a coordinate system this is an x axis origin and y axis then if any line based on this initial line if it is moving around this particular point then we are going to get a circular path let us call it as this point p after certain distance it has been stopped here if i have drawn a perpendicular here let us call it as this is n let us call it as the moment let us call it as the theta now let us call it as this point is q o q n i am going to call it as a triangle but o q p is also we are calling it as a part of a circle which we are calling it as a sector but the question arises is can we construct or can we join qp then this is also going to be a triangle at that time if it is a right angle if this is going to be the right angle then what about this angle is going to be can we say that oqn is one right angle triangle in the same manner p and q is also going to be one more right angle triangle can we say that these two triangles are similar or not if they are similar then what sort of properties it should satisfy that is going to be the next question for that depending upon the line moment we can say that there are three types of triangles are there first type of triangle we are calling it as a scalene triangle in a scalene triangle all the three sides are different sides are there now if i take like this if i have taken like this 3 6 as well as 12 i have taken but 3 6 12 are going to be the different sides are there this side is not equal to this side this side is not equal to this side let us call it as a b c is one triangle if you take ab and then ab equal to 3 units bc is equal to 6 units ca is equal to 12 units we have taken sum of the two sides should be equal to is greater than the third side that is going to be the question if i take like this sum of the two sides means here 3 plus 6 9 9 is not greater than 12 suppose if i take like this 12 plus 6 18 18 is not greater than 3 3 plus 12 therefore this side is not going it is not going to form a triangle in case of 12 suppose if i would have taken about 2 only i have taken suppose this side is equal to 2 naturally 
3 plus 2 is going to give you 5. That is 5 is going to be the more than 5 is going to be less than 6 or we can say like that sum of the two sides should be greater than the third side that is 6 plus th this you can take like this 3 plus 6 9 9 is greater than 2 therefore we can say that it is going to form a triangle but in earlier case then what happened to that suppose if I take 12 sum of the two sides 6 plus 3 this is going to be 9 is going to be less than 12 but the problem is sum of the two sides is greater than the third side but it is not fulfilled that condition if i have taken 2 3 plus 6 is going to be the 9 therefore 9 is going to satisfy this one therefore we can say that this triangle with the different sides is called a scalene triangle now second question is like this suppose if a b is equal to 3 units bc is also 3 units then abc is equal to suppose if i have taken 5 units now it is going to fulfill the condition of ab plus bc is greater than the third side and the two sides are equal and then we can say that that implies the triangle structure is going to look like this let us call it as a b c if i have taken ab is 3 units bc is 3 units sum of these two this definitely is going to be greater than the fifth one therefore this is 5 and moreover this side is the same as this side we can say that it is called an isosceles triangle therefore the next thing is going to be if the two sides are equal then the triangle is said to be an isosceles triangle the same manner if we look into the other triangle suppose the third one a b equal to 3 b c is equal to 3 c a is also equal to 3 but the sum of the two sides a b plus b c is greater than the third side therefore here we can say that it is an equilateral triangle and it is satisfying the condition of a b plus b c that is sum of the two sides is greater than the third side therefore we can say that it is called an equilateral triangle that is all the sides are equal here a b c i have taken let us call it as this is a 3 this is 3 this is 3 all the three sides are equal then we can say that it is an equilateral triangle now my main question arises is like this suppose in case of if i take a right angle triangle can we find out these things in that or not we will see.